Okay, hello everyone. I'm Rafael from the Java Challengers Initiative. And today we're gonna see uh, some functional programming concepts in Java. Okay, so that's the challenger about functional programming. And as you can see here, we have a function on the generic type. We have integer uh, predicate with an integer. And then we are using two lambdas here. So one lambda for the first function and then another lambda for the predicate here. I know this is a bit complex. This might take some time until you um, absorb this concept, but what I can suggest to you is to try it out, try out these codes so it can become more clear. And then we have the supplier functional interface, consumer unary operator, binary operator, then we are printing some information here. So let's just explore a bit of those interfaces. So just to make it clear, what is a functional interface? It's basically uh, an interface that has just one abstract method. So we could say that it's just an interface that represents one method. And in the case of the function method, we have the uh, the only method that is abstract and it would be the apply so as you can see it returns r and receives t and a predicate is basically a method that returns a boolean and receives a type the supplier as the name suggests it's supplying a type so it returns a type a consumer as the name suggests as well it will be consuming a type, the, the, yeah, the T that is uh, the input argument. And there is the unary operator that is um, extending a function. The difference about this unary operator is that we have only one type of generic. That means that we can only have one type here. So it's just an extension of function because a function uses uh, T and R. So it's, it's different. And the binary operator is extending a by function. And as you can see here, the by function has T, U, and R. So on the binary operator, we have just T. So we can use just one type. That's the difference. And yeah, I'm gonna give you some time to think about this code and let me know when you're ready to come up with the answer. Okay, so as usual, we are running this challenger with Docker. So let's build our image. Let's run it now. -na 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 -na. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Rodrigo. Finally, it's been yeah. some time. <laughs> yeah, quite a while, man. Okay, so let's see why it is answer. It's a very tricky one. You, you did great, man. <laughs> Almost Thank got me. Thank you. Okay, so let's uh, analyze the most complex part of this challenger. So it is this line because we have a function that receives an integer and returns a predicate of integer. So it is possible to join functions with functional uh, programming. And this is exactly what we are doing here. So we are creating a pivot for the main function and then we are, uh, creating a lambda for um, the predicate. And the number is from the predicate as we are declaring here. And the pivot is from the function because you're declaring here at first. So basically we are um, kind of inverting here the parameters. So let's see that with more details when we reach at the point that we invoke the function from uh, the is greater than. So let's go forward. So in the supplier is basically, uh, we can just implement a method that returns uh, a value. So a supplier would be basically a lazy supplier. So we declare uh, the, the value that we want to supply. And then when we want effectively to return this value, then we invoke 
the get method, okay? And here I just created uh, the Lambda with this syntax just to vary it because we could also do that far simpler. Okay, I just wanted to show you that it is possible to use brackets and return as well. Okay, um, and in the consumer, yeah, we are just consuming a function that uh, basically receives a type. So as the print ln method uh, receives a type, receives a, an object, for example, we, we can use a method reference here because it matches with this consumer. And then here it's the same thing with a, the, the unary operator. And yeah, we are just returning a value. We are just returning an integer. And on the binary operator, we are just adding two numbers. So we are just uh, performing the, the sum of two numbers. And, and then we are going to consume those two functions. So on the Carl operator, we are passing five. And then on binary operator, we are passing two and two. So the sum of those numbers would be nine. So let's see here, uh, debugging it. So as you can see here, when we are applying these functions, we are invoking the Lambda function, okay? So we are just passing five. Then uh, the sum here is nine. And then we are going to apply the, so the most supplier that uh, is uh, five and the beer sum that is nine. So the most supplier is going to pivot and the beer sum is going to number. So that's why we get true because a number is gonna be nine and pivot is gonna be five. So as you can see, apply is from the function and test is from the predicate. Yeah, that so, first line almost almost got me. I actually swapped the numbers and that's why probably I said the, you know, it is false, but actually it is true. Yeah, and that's the reason it's because this one is from the function that is the pivot, and the second one is from the predicate. Yeah, yeah. that's a good one. Thank you. And that's pretty much it, guys. You have any questions about this challenger? I'm good. I'm good. After the, the explanation, uh, I I connect some dots that I was a little bit unsure. So now I, I'm good. Perfect. Okay, guys. So thank you for uh, participating in this challenger. And on this challenger, you saw how important the functional interfaces are. And you can see that you can use the powerful concept of uh, higher order functions that is basically uh, to join functions. So in the end, you can uh, effectively invoke those functions. So if you want to know more, you go to uh, javachallengers.com and if you liked the video, please give a like and get subscribed to the channel because on that way, I'm gonna be able to provide better videos for you. And that's it for uh, this challenger. See you the next time.